So last week, after realizing the axe that I had was a big turd, I did some research and found the Fiskars X27. Saw some great videos on it and some great reviews. Thought I'd give it a try. I've chopped up a little bit of wood. Thought I'd do a little bit of demo on this. It's about uh, uh, 15 to 16 inches across and super light axe. It swings great. Let's see how it does on this. So pretty much one slice right there and it's done. It cuts so easy, it sometimes feels as though you're not even hitting a log. Definitely recommend the Fiskars X27. Super light, super strong, cuts through like butter. Okay, this is the uh, Fiskars X. It's, uh, shoot, I don't remember the name of it. Here you go. The X27. This is about the coolest axe you'll ever run into. Uh, really well designed and it knows how to cut wood. Much better than I do. This is some pretty good wood, it's dried out, but I've done some hardwoods with it too, some hickory and some walnut. I mean there isn't much better than that. This dude is big guy, it might take me three things, but I'm not using a maul. I'm not using a lot of effort. Oops, it broke. So anyway, yeah, buy this axe. If you cut your own wood, and I had uh, four cords here just a little while ago. Oh, I maybe got a cord left. Just getting ready for winter. And uh, I love this axe. Recommended it to everybody that I know and uh, people that I don't know. <laughs> but uh, you know, there's not many times you can drive a mall through a piece of wood and stick it that hard into uh, your cutting block. So, speaking of cutting block, this uh, cottonwood works really good. <laughs> it's uh, pretty amazing for not falling apart itself. I haven't hit that road, but it's still, uh, still cut really well. Check it out, it's pretty cool.